global policeman is an informal term for a state which seeks or claims global hegemony. It has been used, firstly, of the British Empire and, since 1945, of the United States. The most influential of the four policemen victorious in World War II. In recent years, there has been speculation that China may take over the role as it reaches out to protect shipping lanes, protect its overseas workers, and creeps into the Superpower League. The West, according to two columnists of the Financial Times, should view this as an opportunity, not a threat. In international law No formal recognition of this position exists. Theoretically, in international law, all nations are equal, par in param non habit imperium, no authority between equals, is the principle applied. In reality, international law is decentralized, unpoliced, unenforceable, unclear and frequently broken. States are immortal and cannot be indicted. Topic. Comparison with state policing Within states, law restrains and limits power, between states, the opposite is true. The Pelian principles of policing include, the duty to prevent crime, keep the peace and uphold the law, with the consent of the public, and with minimal use of force and restraint, to act impartially, and not to usurp the powers of the judiciary. The latter standard requires a presumption of innocence. Candidates for police recruitment and promotion are appointed on merit, whereas a global policeman is self-appointed faute de mur. Within states, a monopoly on violence is the norm, the police may carry weapons, but few others do so, the U.S. is an exception, prompting Charles Lane to ask if it is really a state internationally, a global policeman is but one heavily armed state among 200 others. To confer the role of global policeman on any self-interested, expansionary state implies a conflict of interest. States wage war with maximum force, engage in arms sales, form alliances and thus lack impartiality. History The comparatively peaceful years 1815–1914 came to be known as Pax Britannica. The UK made efforts to control the slave trade through the West Africa Squadron in 1827. Britain, jointly with France and Russia, intervened on the side of Greek independence, destroying the Turkish fleet at the Battle of Navarino. In 1854, Britain, jointly with France, prevented Russia from destroying the Ottoman Empire. Russia had to withdraw from Moldavia and Wallachia, and Sevastopol was besieged in the Crimean War. From 1914 to 1945 no one state was hegemonic. In an era of multipolarity and diffused responsibility, fascist dictators arose and Europe sank into two world wars. The authoritarian German challenge to democratic Britain then, is comparable to the authoritarian Chinese challenge to democratic America now. According to Richard J. Evans, the Truman Doctrine of 1947 promised assistance to anti communist allies. The right of neutrality was abolished. Less than pre greater than slash pre greater than dot 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 it was an era of aggressive peacetime policy which marked the beginning of America's role as global policeman. Since the end of the Cold War, the enemy is terrorism, not communism. 
but after a disastrous intervention in Somalia in 1993, the U.S. was reluctant to engage in humanitarian intervention in Bosnia and Rwanda. The U.S. led invasion of Iraq, officially a policing mission to find weapons of mass destruction, has been accused of being an illegal cover for ulterior, unethical motives, the need to secure U.S. regional bases, oil supplies, and the loyalty of key allies. Since then, serious doubts have been raised about the validity of U.S. overseas intervention and destabilization in Iraq, Libya and Syria. Americans accept no law other than their own on U.S. soil, yet expect other nations to submit to the rule of U.S. troops, a double standard. The use of drone strikes on terrorists in Pakistan and Afghanistan goes against the presumption of innocence. The CIA, exempt from the Geneva Convention, is secretly sentencing people to death for an unproven crime, without trial or inquest. Al Qaeda is not a state, so war law, which permits killing of combatants, does not apply. Topic. See also. Hegemony. International law Pax Britannica Pelian principles Power politics Superpower collapse Thucydides trap World peace <laughs>